Hi students, I'm sorry I'm not there with you today. It's Mrs. Bailey. I'm actually at home not feeling very well. Uh, so what I'm going to do with you today is just kind of go over letter sounds. And the first part we're going to do is we're going to see letters and you're going to make the sounds that the letters say. We're going to be focusing on these next couple days on the short U sounds and short U words in our um, writing and in our reading and in our blending. But for right now, all I need you to do is go over the letter sounds with me. And then I'm going to say a letter sound and you're going to guess what letter I'm trying to make. And then at the end we're going to do some blending and then we're going to read a poem a few times through together. And then that'll be it for today and then I'll uh, have another video for you tomorrow. Okay, and I'll be back next week and I can't wait to see all of you and hear all about your winter break and how you've been doing and if you got a chance to play in the snow. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just look at the letters and you're going to say the sound with me. Ready? K. P. K. Ah. Ch. Remember, CH says ch, like choo-choo. Ch. I. D. Ah. G. U. H. M. J. Good. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to say I I'm going to say a sound and you're going to tell me what letter that is. Are you ready? The sound is a. Uh. What letter says a? Uh? U. Very good. U says a. Uh. The next one. Are you ready? What letter says x? X. Right. X says what letter says z? Good. Z says z. Now, what letter says h? Good. H says h. What letter or letters say qu? Good. Together, Q U. Remember, because they're married, they say qu. So we always put Q U together. All right. What letter says D. D. Good. And can you make the D thumb for me? Right? Make your D thumb. You got your B thumb and your D thumb. Make your D thumb. Make sure that you remember which way it goes. And last, what letter says T? T. Good. T says T. Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to blend some uh, letters together, some sounds together to make words. Some of these will be real words, some of, them, some of these will be nonsense or silly words. <clears throat> Here we go. You ready? K. I. D. Kid. Now say it fast with me. Kid. Say it again. Kid. We want to start not making a sound for each letter. We want to start to start automatically saying them if we know them right away. Sometimes we do have to sound words out and that's okay, but sometimes we know exactly what the letters say, so we want to just say it. How about this one? Ch. I. D. Ch. Id. Chid. Good. Chid. Is chid a real word? No. All right, ready? Ch. I. It, chit. How about this one? Ch, at, ch, at, chat. What word do you see in the middle of chat? Look, I found at, right? And then you can make a whole bunch of words like chat, bat, rat, hat, right? Now, chit, chat, chit chat. Right? To talk or to speak to someone. All right, ready? J, a, t, j, a, t, jat. J, a, g, j, ag, jag. H, ag, hag. K, ag, Ag, cag. You try this one on your own. What is it? Let's do it together. Ready? C, og, cog. 
Like a cog and a clock. That's the little tiny part of a clock wheel. I'll have to show you sometime. Now change cog. We're just changing the beginning sound to ul. So how does that change the word? Cog to good. Log. P og. Pog. M og. Mog. Good job. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're just going to go over the vowels. Remember our vowel song. Ready? They're A, E, I, O, U. They're the vowels. They're the glue that stick the words together. They're very sticky letters. You can't make a word without a vowel. Right. You can't make a word without a vowel. And you need A, E, I, O, or U, or sometimes Y, but we haven't gotten there yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the sounds together. I says I. Very good. O says Ah. Very good. U is our special one for the week that we're going to focus a lot on. Ah. Uh, good job. I again. I. E. Eh. O. Ah. As in hot dog. A says ah. As in abracadabra. All right, the U this week. Now, you have learned U before, guys, but we're just going to talk, and like I said, um, a lot of our words are going to focus on U this week, not all of them, but we're going to make sure that we hit U pretty hot and heavy because we've hit I, A and I and O before, so we're just going to hit U pretty heavy. So, alliteration sentence for U has a lot of U's in it. Look at that. Run, Judd, run. Upton, umpired, under, uncle's umbrella. Good job. Now, see if you can find all those U's. Point to them for me. You count them? How many U's do you see? Yeah, I see about eight of them. Okay. Repeat after me. The U says, uh. Again. U says, uh. Like you're getting kicked in the stomach. Ouch. U says, uh. Like umbrella. What we're going to skip to is this little poem. We're going to read it a few times. I'm going to see if I can... Oh, sorry about that. See if I can move this over a little bit. This is called To Sup Like a Pup. Sup? Sup like in supper. So to eat like a pup is kind of what that means. To sup like a pup. Ready? I'm going to point to the words and say them. I'm going to read it to you once. And then you're going to read it with me the next couple times, okay? To sup like a pup. To gulp it all up. No napkin, no fork, no spoon, and no cup. But to slup with your tongue in delishable laps. What luck. And it says delishable laps because I think that means delicious right? But laps means, um, a dog will actually lap with its tongue. What that means is it, stick its, it sticks its tongue out in its bowl, and it actually scoops up the water in a backwards pattern. It's kind of crazy. In a backwards pattern into its mouth, okay? So it scoops it up. It laps it up. That means to, to eat, right? And they're not using forks or napkins. I've never seen a dog um, eat with a fork or put a napkin in its lap or Eat with a spoon, have you? That'd be pretty cool, but I have not seen it. All right, so let's read it again. This time, try to read it with me. To sup like a pup. To gulp it all up. No napkin, no fork, no spoon, and no cup. But to slup with your tongue in delishable laps. What luck. One more time, okay? And then we'll be done for the day. Point to the words as you say them. To sup, that means to eat. Let's do it again. To sup, like a pup. To gulp it all up. No napkin, no fork, no spoon, and no cup. 
but to slup with your tongue in delishable laps. What luck. It's cute, right? To sup like a pup. Basically to eat like a slob. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening, and I will be back again tomorrow. We're going to be working on some letter writing, some word, uh, letter writing, word writing, and um, maybe even some sentences tomorrow. Thanks.